So, where are you from? I'm from Florida. I'm a Florida girl, born and raised. Uh, born and raised in Florida. Yes. Uh, can I ask which part? Um, West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. Where mm -hmm. the f where, where is that? It's like more down south, like towards Miami. People know Miami. Okay, so it's, yeah. it's kind of around Miami and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay, how was it? How, what's it like growing up there? Is it fun? Is it shitty? Or like, what's the story? Um, Growing up there, it was fun. Most of it. But once I got out of high school, like I realized that I had to get a regular 9 to 5 and that just wasn't cutting it for me. <laughs> what, did you, what did you do for a 9 to 5? I was a aftercare counselor for third grade kids. <laughs> what the f what what's an aftercare counselor? So after school, like once the day was over, and if their parents were at work and they couldn't come pick them up, they would send them to me in my classroom, and I would help them with homework or take them on the playground, give them snacks, like do all that fun shit. Oh, I want some <laughs> snacks. Did you bring snacks for us? No, no snacks today. Don't have my snack bag. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. All right. Well, that sounds very funny. You just said, I hate these little snot-nosed kids. I'm going to do hardcore porn or... <laughs> yeah. And my <laughs> immune system getting sick every fucking week from these snotty-nosed kids is not my ideal job. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you must have one hell of an immune system now shooting, you know, dealing with kids and shooting a fuck ton of porn. Yep. And dealing with other bodily fluids. <laughs> my immune system is very good. <laughs> have you... Uh... Do you like, um, when you, when it comes to like kind of sex things, do you like having, um, do you like cream pies or do you like it to eat it? Do you like it in your face or just on your boobs? Like what kind um, of cum girl are you? I like all of that. I mean, depends how I'm feeling. If it's in the moment and everything feels great, then a nice cream pie is very, it's good. But if I'm like setting up for like a cum shot or whatever, then I really don't like cum shots because... I don't know why it's like my eyes just attract nut, so it gets <laughs> in my eye every time. <laughs> well, well, let me ask you: Do you tell the guy don't come in my eye? No. Okay. I mean, it's that's, just that's if it curse. looks good. If it looks good, then it okay. looks good. But I'm not gonna be the one to be like, don't come here, don't come here, come okay. wherever you want. Like, but I just hate when it gets in my eye. It's just a fucking hassle cleaning it out, and then it's red for like. Five ten minutes, you look like you have pink eye. This is not fun. Because <laughs> I, I, I've known girls that that basically said, "You can, if we're doing a facial, just don't come in my eye." Yeah. And that's where you curse yourself and get cum in your eye. Exactly. It's like that first shootout. It's like get in your eye. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, that's okay. good. All that's right. Why they have eye drops. <laughs> This is true. Exactly. All right. So growing up in the uh, West Palm, what did you, what did you like to do for fun? Um, what did I do for fun? I would hang out with my friends. I would dance because I was a dancer for four years. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, t let's talk about dancing real okay. quick. Okay. So what kind of dancing did you do? Um, I did, started off with lyrical, contemporary, and ballet. Can you translate to that? Lyrical? Lyrical, it's like slow dancing, people would say, to like slow music for okay. people that don't know dance terms. <laughs> so it's very graceful dancing. It's very, um emotional dancing um and then i got into hip-hop okay and i fucking love that it brought me out of my shell and then i did step and not a lot of people know what stepping is but stepping is like where they make beats and shit with like your stomps and your claps like stomp the yard type shit <laughs> oh did you hear that uh what was that name of that old band i think it's called stomp or crash or crap but they got like garbage and like stomped around is it kind of like tap dancing um in a way, because you're making beats with your movement and your feet, and but not really your hands. You don't use your hands in tap dancing a lot. Oh, you? Yeah, no. Oh, I had no idea. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. It's it's a good way to get out some anger. Like every <laughs> practice, I would just fucking use step practice, like unleash all my anger and like just beat myself up. My thighs would be like bloodshot red from slapping them so hard. Oh and Jesus! Shit. Yeah. So it's a real knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So, and then ballet. Ballet. Let's talk about ballet. Do you have, ballet. Are your feet fucking destroyed from ballet? Um, I mean, I did have dancer feet at one point in my life, and they're getting a little better. I'm working on them. They look pretty good. I take good care of them, but um, 
Ballet was my escape for a while. Um, it's a lot of hard work. It's harder than it looks standing, putting all of your weight on your toes, literally. And it's just, it's very freeing. I love it. It's just a good way to express your emotions and not, in not an aggressive way, like beating someone. <laughs> like beating someone? Yeah. Yeah, there will be no beating here. Okay? Exactly. Except for beating off. Exactly. That's the only <laughs> beating we should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, what was the last one? Or it was all three dances? Um, yep. Lyrical, contemporary, hip hop, step. And I was a cheerleader too. Oh, cheerleader. Yeah. That was fun. You look you look pretty tiny. Did they throw you around? Yeah, I was a flyer. So I was up in the air. How Everybody was, was lifting me and shit. Did anyone ever drop you? Oh yeah. Plenty <laughs> of times. Plenty of times. I've had girls <laughs> drop me in a back spot. The person in the back is supposed to catch you if you're falling. But this one girl completely moved out of the way and disregarded her job as a back spot and just let me fall <laughs> on my fucking back. Maybe she thought her her job was never going to be called. Shit, I don't fucking know. You know, it's kind of like when you go on an airplane, you sit in the emergency <laughs> row. Exactly. You kind of know, like, in the back of your head, yeah. like, this is never going to happen. And then yep. when it does, you're like, oh, happens, fuck. you're like, oh, fuck. I'm supposed <laughs> to open the door so other people can get out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's dandy. That's mm -hmm. absolutely awesome. Um, cheerleading, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so going back to your hobbies, what other hobbies do you have or fun? Or what do you do for fun, honey? Um... Smoke weed. Smoke weed? Yeah. Do you smoke a lot of weed? How much weed do you smoke in a typical week? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just narrow it down to how many joints I smoke in a day. Okay, That's let's a go lot per day. easier for me to answer. Um, I wake up, usually start my day with a nice joint, because you know, that nice wake and bake is nice. So that's, boom, that's one. And then like... If it's my off day, then I'm really kicking it back and I'm like 420 in it up. So that's like at least, I'd say like five joints. Five joints a day? How big are the joints? Are they like gram joints? Um, usually from like a gram to like a gram and a half, two Gs, like, yeah. Okay, so we can safely say you probably smoke a quad of marijuana a day. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I, I just want to imagine how much more money you would have if you uh, oh my god I've probably spent like thousands and thousands like of money on weed Jesus Christ yeah now that I think about it <laughs> that's horrible <laughs> hey I love my herbs <laughs> what my would veggies. you think about switching to something called uh, they call it like Erax or dab um I've done dabs I like dabs um because my tolerance for weed is super high because I've been smoking for a very long time. So if I want to really feel like the effects of it, then I switch to dabs because dabs get me to the high that I want. But if, as if I was just smoking a joint, I would just be like, okay, this is nice, whatever. And what's, so. what's the longest time you went without smoking weed? Oh my God. Well, I've been smoking like nonstop for like three years now. But the longest I've gone without smoking is probably when I flew out to Cali the first time to work. And it was like four days. Four days? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, and it was horrible. I was like, wanted to rip somebody's head off. I was like, I need my weeds. Oh, Jesus. I need it. You think in LA it would be easier to get the marijuanas? Yeah, but you have to be 21 for everything here. This is true. Which sucks. Oh, how old are you? I'm 20. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 20. Oh, wow. So you're still a youngling. Yes. You can't even buy cigarettes here. Nope. Can't buy jewel pods. Can't buy wraps. Can't buy anything. Anything at all? Nope. Is there any... Uh, what other things you like to do for fun besides smoke weed? Um, let's see. I like... I like being creative. And I wish I could fucking draw because I love drawing. <laughs> and coloring but um i would say like painting and designing clothing making clothes like anything that doesn't fit me anymore i turn it into something i can wear again because i don't like throwing away clothing did so, you make this no i did okay. not make this <laughs> <laughs> well, so you're amazing <laughs> i wish i made this but 
I like making like ripped jeans, crop tops, cropped hoodies, like all that cool okay. shit. That sounds pretty fucking cool. Mm -hmm. um, crop jeans, crop this, so design. Well, why would you ever want to practice drawing at all? Um, I mean, yeah, I would practice drawing. I'm just very impatient <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like failing. So if I were to draw something and it just comes out completely shitty, I'd be like, you dumb bitch. Like, oh why Why did you even try? <laughs> to get better. It doesn't go in vain. You know what but I mean? No, I'm not meant to be a, a drawer. So not with that fine. attitude. I'm not meant to be a drawer. <laughs> how about There's painting? other people that do that. Well, you know, how about like painting? Painting, I would love to like practice painting because painting, I just feel like everything flows better yeah. with a paintbrush and it's just a lot more pretty to me. And more fun. Well, there's like no wrong way of doing painting. You know, you're seeing like some fucking Van Gogh stuff and yeah. So uh, who's the other guy who uh, uh, Picasso? Picasso. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, there's there's no wrong way. Or that uh, Andy Warhol who just paint things for no reason just because. Exactly. Cause, but you know, people sell paintings for like millions of dollars and it's like splashes on a canvas. Like I could do that. I'm gonna like dip my ass in paint and put it on a canvas and sell it for millions of dollars. There's an actual painting, like a uh, painting, a subgenre of painting called like menstrual painting. Oh. That's... So, <laughs> maybe maybe it turn into like a cream pie thing where you maybe. get cream pie and you stand over a canvas. And just let it like drip yeah. on the canvas. Yeah. And you do it for like 10 guys, could you imagine? That'd be... Someone would buy that. Yeah, somebody probably would buy that. Mm. I'd buy that. Food for thought. <laughs> Food for thought. There we go. You could be a million dollar. Oh, yeah. It's um, like a light bulb. Yeah, <laughs> you make a million dollars <laughs> in nowhere. If you if you had a million dollars, would you still do porn? Yes, a million dollars isn't enough. Ten million. Yeah, if I got ten million right now, yeah, like in the position I am right now, I yeah. would still do porn because I love it so much okay. and I love the people. That's good. Yeah. Were you always were before you joined porn? Were you always like super duper horny and always want to fuck, or what was that story? Yeah. Um, I'm polyamorous. I don't know if you guys know what that means. Explain it to the audience. That means that you are okay with having multiple partners because you would go to one person for a physical attraction to fuck them, have sex with them, and then you would go to the other person for your mental attractions. Like they feel like home, they make you comfortable, and then you can be with both of those people at the same time without it being a problem. And I realized that I was poly after high school because every boyfriend or girlfriend I got, I wanted somebody else in the picture. Like one wasn't good enough for me. So I realized I need a job to fucking help me figure out what the fuck is going on. And I was like, porn is like the only job that I can fully grasp myself and like embrace it and nobody will have a problem with it. And ever since I did porn, I fully embraced it and myself and everything's been going great. I've met some dope ass fucking people and the relationships I've made with people are unforgettable and I'm blessed, I'm grateful. <laughs> are you in a relationship now? No. Are you looking for one? Um. <sighs> <laughs> I mean, it's like yes and no because I'm a lover. I love very hard. So like whenever I meet somebody and I click with them, I fall for them instantly, which is a blessing and a curse because I could fall for somebody and their intentions might not be the same. So I'm fucked. And then I have to end up forgetting this person. So I'm not really looking for a boyfriend right now because people outside of the industry have a problem with girls inside of the industry. And then guys inside the industry, nobody's really looking for a girl because their job is just, it's so much and you're super busy all the time, which I understand. So the answer is no, I'm not really looking for anybody right now. Okay. <laughs> Do you like uh, girls? Yes, I love girls. Okay, when did you girls. discover you like girls? And, and to what extent do you like girls? Would you, uh, would you date a girl? Um, well, I figured out I like girls in, I was like six, literally. Um, I had a best friend in Florida and we would always play house and I realized that whenever we played house I'd want to be the dad and I'd want to be the one in charge and then I remember one time we like snuck in the closet and like we kissed 
and nothing was weird to me like neither of us freaked out and then years passed high school comes and I see my first like true lesbian like she just fully embraced it and she didn't care like what anybody thought and we start talking and we start hanging out then we start hooking up and we start dating and we dated for almost a year and then we ended up breaking up because I realized that I needed a male's attraction physical attraction in my life and I didn't want to hurt her so we went our separate ways and then yeah that's how I figured out I like girls but I don't think I would be able to be with a girl for a long period of time because I like I'm very bisexual so I would love to be with a guy and a girl at the same time that would be fucking amazing okay <laughs> sexually wise would, would, would you rather have two guys or two girls um or no two guys two girls or a girl and a guy and you what's your that's optimal that's a hard question op optimal three way that is a very hard question but I mean I'd probably like a guy and a girl and me because I get everything it's like the best of both worlds whereas if it was just all girls I wouldn't be getting dick but if it was all guys I wouldn't be getting pussy so it's like let's just put them together and everybody will be happy so all right yeah do you do you do anal at all no I have, haven't have you ever tried it um in my personal life yes okay but on camera no I haven't tried it yet would you want to have like two guys like DP you? Does DP look fascinating to you? It looks very fascinating and to all of the females that have done it out there, props to you girl because that shit looks intense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like know how I would even react to that mm. because I, yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> Fair enough. Seems crazy. Fair enough. Um, would you... Um, sexually wise, sexually wise, would you ever do like a gangbang or something? Oh yeah, that's like one of my fantasies is to get a gangbang scene. Cause I just love the fact of multiple people just wanting me. Cause I love that attention. I love the feeling of everybody going after one thing, and then I'm basically in control of like everybody. So I would love that. Hmm. Mm hmm. How about the, how about dick size? Are you a size queen? Do you like little dicks, big dicks, humongous dicks, monster um, dicks? Or are you like a guy who just knows how to use his dick? I like a guy that knows how to use his dick. I mean, I'm not big on, oh, I need this dick to be at least 10 inches. Like, I don't really like huge dicks because I like being comfortable during sex. And so I would say like, my ideal dick would be like, seven inches but then too big is past like 10 inches that's just hurting me now okay the guy yeah. we have today has a giant donkey dick really <laughs> yeah like it's like a pringles can oh my god shut the fuck up <laughs> yeah no i found the you know i've tried uh, to find it the best guy i could and then well. I'm go no i'm kidding he's not <laughs> i just want to play along with you <laughs> no nah, he's a great guy anyways um okay so is there any sexual fantasy you have yet to be able to do besides like a gangbang um or did you already have a gangbang no, no. i haven't done a gangbang okay. i'd love to okay is there anything else on your sexual bucket list bondage bondage i want to get tied up and i want to do like the hitachi torture like type scene like shit like that i like being i like pushing my body to like new extremes and like seeing what i can like handle and shit okay yeah that's that's pretty good so the hitachi tie you to a chair and start probing you with the hitachi yeah and or the one where they like tie you up from like the ceiling and you're like dangling by the ropes and shit oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're that kind of girl. So yeah. let's explore that a little bit. Um, do you, are you super, like, are you into rough sex? Yes. I well, love it. Very much. That's like what gets me going. I love rough, passionate sex. So like, passionate meaning I like a lot of skin to skin contact. So okay. like. Like man blanket? What's that? Where, you know, they're basically laying on top of you. Like oh, a blanket. Oh yeah. Like missionary. Yeah. Um, 
I like riding, but to where like my head's like buried into their chest. Like I just like being close to people, oh. and, like, feeling like their fucking energy. Like I'm not really big on like doggy, but I love it anyway. Just because the physical connection, I feel like, isn't really there. I guess yeah. not. Hmm. I like skin on skin contact. <laughs> okay. What's your um? What would be one of your favorite positions and why? Um, my favorite position, I think, would have to be either where I'm laying flat on my stomach and the guy is on top of me, or, um, or, like, when I'm laying, like, on my side, like this, and then he's behind me and he, like, has my neck. Spoon. Yeah. Spoon, spoon. Because, <laughs> like I said, I like the skin-to-skin -skin contact. Okay, so nice. real close and sweaty, yeah. hot, sweaty sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, and how about, I guess you would have a passionate gangbang or something. That would be super fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> passionate gangbang. This sounds like a yeah. uh, metal band of some sort. Exactly. Like, that would be amazing. Imagine that. Okay. That's very, yeah, no, that's very good. I'm glad to we, uh, learn a lot about you on that <laughs> mm -hmm. and your sexual explorations <laughs> yeah. um was the kind of like how i always wonder how did you discover you liked rough sex kind of thing um let me let me ask you was it did you watch porn and say i like that or did you kind of liked it and then discover they did it in porn i started watching porn at a super young age and I discovered like a lot of new positions and girls getting pushed to like do like these extreme things and I was like I want to do that like they look like they're enjoying the shit out of it so I want that roughness in my life so every person that I would hook up with I would be like just take your fucking anger out on me like do whatever you want to fucking do like choke me slap me spit on me like do all that shit because I don't know, that's like what gets me going. Like, I like seeing that look in somebody's eye, like they're really gonna like fuck you up sexually. Like <laughs> that shit turns me on. <laughs> and eye contact is like everything. Oh. I like looking into someone's like fucking soul when I'm like riding them or sucking their dick. <laughs> nice. Have you captured any souls while sucking any dick? Oh yeah. Almost everybody that I've hooked up with. How, 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 Describe to me of how good you are at sucking dick. From a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think? 12. 12? Yeah. 12, okay. <laughs> We're going to see. I'm going to take a look at the guy's face today and see if, like, uh, if he has this, like, <gasps> Yeah. You no, know, if you're sucking the soul out of him or something. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Do Just that. To Keep see. an eye on him. I do doubt. You... He'll at least make the face at least once. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking bets, boys. <laughs> All right, um, how about uh, oral sex on you? Do you like that? Yeah, I mean, I'm more of a pleaser myself. I like pleasing other people and getting a, re a reaction out of them. Yeah. But, yeah, I like oral, but I'm not like, I need head right now. Give me head. I'm like, <laughs> let me give you head. Let me suck your dick. Let me eat you out. <laughs> nice. I, li I like making other people feel nice. Okay.